it's Gabby and it's time to gab about some books like for real this time because oh, I've been in a reading slump and I need some help. I feel like everything that I've been reading has been basically the same whether it's the same concept of mystery thriller or it's just it all just it all seems the same. Like I feel like everything I've been picking up is just voila. Like I'm currently reading Grimm's Fairy Tales and that's pretty cool and everything but again it's dark and it's twisted. Like I feel like everything I've picked up has been dark and twisted. And maybe it's that I've, I need to like step out of my dark and twisted ways. But I, I mean I'm not dark and twisted. I just, I don't know. I like horror movies so I like reading that kind of stuff. So I guess my question is how do you get out of your reading slumps and like when you're in a reading slump, do you try to read different con like different genres? But like, I feel like I do try, and then I get stuff, and I just it sits on my shelf. So I have I have like a ton of romance and contemporaries and whatever, but it's just a matter of like wanting to pick them up. So I guess that's another question. Like, how many of you have like really good recommendations that you think would get me out of a reading slump? Like I have a few that are shorter and I should probably read those, but again, it's a matter of actually like picking them up. So, I mean, let me just give you an exhibit. Like yesterday I went to Barnes and Noble. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I said that I was not going to be buying anything else, but they were there and I was there and like Barnes and Noble is like the happiest place on earth and, or like any bookstore for that matter is the happiest place on earth. And if you don't agree, then don't even tell me. Like, I got Mira, or I got Feed by Mira Grant, and this is about zombies, and the only reason I got this was because I loved Parasite, which Mira Grant also wrote, and this is just focusing on the fact that, um, in 2017, they cured cancer, or 2014, sorry, they cured cancer, and then 20 years later, it's following the repercussions, so not only did they cure cancer, but zombies rose so it kind of I feel like this reminds me of like I am legend um and then I got do not disturb by A.R. Tor. this is the second book in I don't even know what it's called but it's the uh it's the second one to the girl in 6e but this basically just follows the woman again who she stays in her apartment or she did and then at the end of the first one, she ends up leaving because there's a girl that gets abducted and then she ends up murdering. So she's a serial killer. She knows that she is. So she keeps herself locked up because she has this urge to kill people. Again, it's dark. It's twisted. So I was at the bookstore with my mom and I was showing her all these books that I was about to get. And yes, there were more. And they were all like along the lines of a dark and twisted path and she just kind of stared at me and she said you need to get like happy and fluffy books so I picked one up um I'm a big fan of Audrey Hepburn so I got A Night In with Audrey Hepburn by Lucy Holiday and this just follows an actress named Libby Lomax and she ends up making a fool of herself on set one day and she goes home and she's just mortified and so she's just sitting there and she's just rolling through what happened and then all of a sudden she looks and there's Audrey Hepburn who's about to give her some advice on how to kind of switch things around. So it sounds like a decent read but I don't know if I would want to pick this up like boom done. Okay so now it's time that I put some of the responsibility on my lovely subscribers what do I do like how do I get out of this reading slump? I've never really been in a reading slump. like I've always been that type of person that can just read whenever and wherever and maybe it's because I've been so busy and I'll get out of it that way but I need some books that are going to help me get out of this reading slump so what type of books have helped you in the past get out of a reading slump and what do you recommend as far as pulling away from my dark and twisted reading habits because let's be serious my bookcase is starting to look very dark and dreary I need some happiness. So help me out. Hopefully this wasn't like nonsense, but comment below. Tell me what to do. Give me some book recommendations. Um, and yeah, and if you've read any of the books that I've book hauled or any of those, let me know. Like I really want to talk to you guys about books. Like this is why I created this channel a lot, to talk about what I'm getting and to talk about books with everybody else because like I said in my one of my previous videos I don't have anybody to really chat about books with so comment below be my friend well I'm like yeah be my friend please be my friend no but seriously I do need some help with books and everything which is crazy because I have like 
literally 200 plus books on my bookcase that I have to read through and I just, I don't even know where to start. Also, if you're on Goodreads, let's be friends. I'm on Goodreads. I'll link my profile down below and that's where I usually rate my books and give like a more uh, descriptive feedback if I really enjoyed it or if I just absolutely hated it. Um, I'm going to have a book review coming up soon on some of the books that I've read recently and yeah. So that's it. So hopefully you have some suggestions for me because I need them desperately. Okay, bye!